My name is Mouse. Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't if I were you. <laughs> In 1993, The Whiz Kid was released a video in the United States, but it technically came out in 1989 in Germany as Bodo, A Normal Family. At least that's what Google Translate told me. And like always, there's not a ton of information on the internet about these movies that I review. However, there is a Wikipedia page. But guess what? It's all in German, so translating the English didn't work out so well. But based on that in a YouTube comment I read, it seems that the movie's partially German and also has an original English dubbing because some of the actors are English and some are German. I don't know. I won't get into that, but here's a good synopsis by Jack O'Brien from IMDb. Bodo is a kid with abnormally high intelligence, a samurai sword-toting father, and a robotic orangutan. Unfortunately, all this leaves him with a minimum of social skills, so what's a boy genius to do? Clone a hipper, suaver Bodo, of course. Soon afterwards, though, trouble arises. Will Bodo get the girl of his dreams? Time will tell. Lately on my channel, I've decided to do two main types of videos. I have video crap, which is what most of my stuff is that falls under the bad movie category, you know. So bad they're good. A lot of them are just so bad, they're just bad and not even worth checking out. But I also decided I want to start doing some Hidden Gems videos, which are movies that are a little bit more decent. Now, I originally planned on The Wiz Kid falling under video crap just based on a few clips I saw in the synopsis. However, I couldn't let myself do that due to the freaking amazing 80s soundtrack the movie has. You write me letters, you tell me you care And after school you are standing there Then you call me on the phone You feel so alone This is a song called Baby by an artist named Anna Lucy, and it seems to be an original song for the movie. It's actually a shame that I can't find more info or other songs by Anna Lucy, but it's a great song, and I don't know how it's not more of a known 80s hit. Anyway, this movie is definitely a mix of awkward, weird, and fun. Oh, please, ma'am, not so fast. If you fall apart, who on earth will put you back together again? Oh. As the synopsis said, Bodo is this geeky smart kid who lives with robots and his dad who's like obsessive sword fighting and his mom, well... Morning, Mom. Oh. Good morning, darling. Good morning. You look great. Let's actually get to the mom situation in a minute. Basically, the movie has several tropes you'd expect. Bodo likes this girl named Nova who is friends with, and also in a band with, a group of bullies that always mess with him, of course. And because of these problems, he decides to make a clone of himself by programming a cooler version of himself with the keywords bold, daring, cool, an IQ of 190, and power. When the new Bodo number two comes to life, it doesn't work out the way he imagined because now his crush Nova ends up falling for that Bodo not himself, the real one. Okay, so I feel like Bodo kind of dropped the ball with four of those keywords. He left out one of the most important character traits when it comes to having a girl fall for him. Funny. He forgot about being funny. Something Bodo doesn't have in this movie. Not the original version of him, nor the clone. In fact, the clone version of himself is actually kind of annoying. <laughs> Bodo, dear. Didn't I just see you running around outside? I didn't see anyone. Who are you? Friend or foe? Friend, of course. Now put something on, darling. You're going to catch a cold. You're so right. This certainly is no way to greet a lady. Will you excuse me? Anyway, this isn't a plot-heavy movie, so let's just talk about some random things. First, there's a couple strong scenes of sexual innuendos. The first one comes with Bodo's therapist and I don't remember why Bodo sees him in the first place. So there's this incredibly awkward scene in which the therapist is insistent to have Bodo sit in this like straddling type way between his legs, like almost a sexual position. Yeah. And you're not? No, but I know little about computers. You spend a lot of time working on your computers and robots. Do you have any friends? You say that so dismally, so negatively. After all, life means accepting challenges and developing. 
<sighs> like that's kind of uncomfortable. I mean, I guess it's not that bad if you compare it to, you know, my review of like Spy Trap. You know, a lot of women fake having boric acids, but not me. But anyway, on top of that, there's this drawing in the background of the office of like a devil horn person and another kissing. So I don't know. This is a German film, so maybe that's just like weird German art, but it's just weird. But the main thing is the weird relationship between Bodo and his mom. Well, technically it's Bodo number two, the clone, and I didn't catch if this was his real mom or stepmom, but it's kind of irrelevant. So halfway through the movie, mom comes home to find Bodo dressed as Tarzan, so she tells him to go change, and this is what he changes into. So, I mean, that's kind of like, you know, male stripper Chippendale attire, right? And you did see how Bodo introduced himself as he came down the stairs. Kind of seductive, almost. Anyway, Mom looks confused, like she's not sure what to think of him. And Bodo decides to crank up a dance song. And it gets quite creepy. So yeah, I mean, that's kind of incestuous, right? So then sometime after this, there's a scene where Bodo kisses mom goodbye, and she's basically turned on by it. See you later, mom. I don't know. I feel like after watching all these weird movies that just have inappropriate stuff, I almost like get used to it. Um, and obviously as a kid, you don't catch this kind of stuff, but as an adult and you're like reflecting on these old movies, it's just like, how do they get away with this stuff? So anyway, uh, moving on. Let's talk about the robots next. There's not much to say other than that they're just awesome. The orangutan one is on roller skates, and the one in the kitchen has that look that just screams 80s robot. Very reminiscent of Short Circuit. It's a jungle out there, you know. <clears throat> oh, darling, you're such a real man. The main bully Bodo deals with is Alex, who doesn't take too kindly to him. <clears throat> And because of those situations and others I've left out, that leads to Bodo making his clone. At first, Bodo number two ends up being a bully himself and kicks the real Bodo out of his house and making his life even more difficult. Spinach! Bodo, your father wants to talk to you. He... Fallen angel. You're not fooling me. So that's kind of uncomfortable to watch too. So anyway, soon after, Bodo 2 comes around and he realizes his role in Bodo's life. Bodo number 2 can now hold his own going alpha male in basketball, as well as winning over Nova's love by quoting Shakespeare in class. There's actually one more sexually suggestive scene I almost forgot about. When some investigators get wind of a clone of Bodo being made, they get a hold of videotape footage of him being hatched from his shell, or his egg. And then that investigator decides to give Naked Bodo a rewatch just to make sure if it's really him. I don't know, man. So yeah, the rest of this movie is basically Nova falling in love with Bodo. I've always had a weakness for shy loser types and then her realizing that there's actually been two of them the whole time. She seems okay with it for the most part, and they have to escape from the two investigators going after them. In the end, they escape, and Bodo 2 decides to leave so he can see the world. I left out a lot of other stuff in the movie, so watch it for yourself sometime. What I love most about it is the weirdness that probably has a lot to do with it being a German film, but it also has that cozy 80s feel with the fun mix of sci-fi and coming of age. 
I don't want to say much else about the movie so I can let you guys have a fresher experience, but definitely watch it sometime. And unfortunately, it never came out on DVD, so your only option is to watch it on VHS or YouTube if the video doesn't get taken down from a copyright. With that said, I'll leave you with another favorite song of mine from the soundtrack. 